Yeah, we just recently did that geometry unit where we found the needs of these arcs in terms of um, angle measure. Okay, we said that, you know, if the central angle is 75 degrees, then the measure of this arc is 75 degrees. Well, now we're actually going to talk about the length of the arc in terms of inches, meters, feet, whatever. Okay? So our arc length formula. Uh, here's some words. If theta is a central angle in a circle of radius r, and if theta is measured in radians, that is a key. It must be in radians. Okay, it must be in radians. Then the length s of the intercepted arc is given by this formula. So I'm just going to label my picture here. We've got theta, we've got the radius, and this arc right here has length s. Okay, I know in terms of degrees or in terms of radians, it's the same as the central angle, but I want to know its actual measurement. I want to know its actual length in linear units, not angular units. All right, so let's look at an example of a problem here. A little bit of an application problem. It says find the perimeter of a 60 degree slice of a large, and we're going to say a large has a 7 inch radius pizza. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I mean, 7 inch radius, 14 inch pizza, pretty normal for a large, right? Um, so I'm going to estimate my center right here, and I'm going to start with my angle like I normally do. And I don't know if you can see the little dot out there, but um, that's my sheet to help me draw a 60 degree angle. Okay, so this is approximately the slice of pizza we're looking at. So both these sides are radii, right? They're both length 7. If we're trying to find the perimeter of this slice of pizza, we got the two sides and then we've got the crust. We've got the curved crust. So we need to find this length right here. That's going to be S. S is equal to the radius times theta, but theta is not 60. It must be in uh, radians. So we need to convert 60 degrees to radians. 60 over 180 is one third, so that's pi over 3 radians. Okay, so um, now normally, if this were just a what's the arc length problem, I would ask you to leave it a 7 pi over 3, but we're talking about the actual perimeter of this pizza, so in terms of pi, even, you know, that's not really doing us a lot of good, so let's multiply that out. 7 pi divided by 3, so it's approximately 7.33 inches. But that's just the length of the crust. We wanted the perimeter of the entire pizza, or slice of pizza, so it had two sides that were 7 apiece. So that's 14, so the perimeter of this pizza, or the slice of pizza, is approximately 21.33 inches. Why did I add 14? Because 7.33 is just the crust. I want the perimeter of the entire slice, so the two sides are the radius. Okay? <clears throat> now, let's look at a couple of examples here um, that I just give you the information. Okay, not an application problem, I just give you the information and I ask you to find the length of the arc. So if I tell you that the radius is 8 inches and theta is 5 pi over 4, okay, the radius is 8 inches and theta is 5 pi over 4, then we are just going to multiply. Okay, S equals R times theta. Theta is in radians, so we are good to go. Um, we just need to multiply that out. So 8 times 5 pi divided by 4. 31.41. Approximately 31.41 inches. If you are ever given units, you need to include units in your answer. Okay? <clears throat> Let's look at one that's got degrees. So when it has degrees, we know we need to begin by converting that degree to radians. Okay, 10 over 9. They're both divisible by 20, so it's 10 over 9. So S equals the radius 
2 times theta 10 pi over 9, which is 20 pi over 9, as a decimal. Approximately 6.981. And this was meters. Okay, this was meters. Now let's think about this for a second. Um, it's a little easier to think about this one since this one's in degrees. 200 degrees is just a little bit more than half of a circle, right? So if we think about the circumference of the circle, if the radius is 2, the entire circumference is going to be 4 pi. Half of that would be 2 pi, and 2 pi is 6.187 or 6.38-ish. So it makes sense that this is just a little bit more than that 2 pi, the 6.28 more than that. Right? <clears throat> the reason why this has to be in radians is because radians are set up to be like proportions of the circle. Um, <clears throat> so that's why it works as well. Okay? That's why the formula works the way it does. Alright, one more. Uh, 15 yards theta is pi over 11. Kind of a weird measurement there, but S equals R times theta. Want to multiply that out? 15 pi divided by 11. 4.284 yards. And that's the answer. Okay. Pi over 11 is a very small portion of your circle. Okay. Pi over 11 is not uh, very big in terms of radian, so let's just look at that for a second. Uh, 0.28 of a radian, so we're talking about a very small angle, <coughs> so that's why that's not a very large arc length. Okay?